All right, today is the morning of Thursday the 22nd and we just observed a, a wonderful miracle and I will open it slowly for you, you know, in, within five minutes, maybe, maybe ten. So, um, last night we had a webinar with Nick and then I, uh, this morning I was scheduled for Reiki session with Jim and I called him and, and now I came here to his place and he told me a nice story. So tell me what happened yesterday with you, starting from Nick's webinar. Did you know about Nick's webinar? No. I didn't know about, I usually don't know about anybody's webinar. They usually happen like uh -huh. within a couple seconds. I guess Nick calls you and they just happen. Yeah, we connect with Nick on uh, Skype and say hey. And he says right. hey and then, you know, what's up? And, and then we just somehow the webinar happens within a few minutes. Yes, so <laughs> um, I went down to my friend's house to soak in his hot tub last night. And I was after uh, American Idol. <laughs> so um, we saw a spaceship of some sort. We see it down there all the time, but the last few weeks we haven't seen it at all, but it was there last night and it moved from one part of the sky to behind the trees and then we couldn't see it for a while and then it came over top of the trees. As we were getting out to go inside, it was over top of the trees. So I said, yes, it's definitely... He, he even acknowledged at that time that that had to be something extraterrestrial because it moved around too much so and it was more of a triangular shape so we think it was probably reptilian so I'm reptilian I think so we're Tri not sure why, why, why a triangle should be reptilian and that's what I've always heard that the triangular more triangular ones were reptilian so. um Sasani Shakani have triangle craft oh, okay uh, Syrians have triangle craft and actually Triangle craft can be rented by anyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, I came home. I felt really restless. I went to bed. I It was getting late. I actually watched a little TV. And I went to bed. And I couldn't sleep. I was very restless. And I got a visitation from a very human-looking guy in robe kind of outfit. looked like really soft material what very, color the material yeah. i don't know it was it was pretty dark but it, it looked like it could have been it was a lighter color Light. maybe uh yellow or or pink or something well it was a lighter color uh -huh. so um and he told me he was a king on era and that his name was kenjin how do you spell it? I have no idea. How would you spell it if you wrote it? K E N J E A N, maybe? Ken Jean. Okay. Um, and he started telling me some things, and a lot of it I don't remember. But I do remember that he was the king on era, and that something about the colonies had changed, and that I was going to be helping him out with this. In the future, but I'll remember what he told me when I need to remember it. But he needs my help for something down the road. So um, that's about all I remember. But I, I remember it was a very, I couldn't sleep last night at all. So when did you become asleep? When you get, got asleep? Um, asleep? Probably about three in the morning. And same with me. Yes, about three. Except I didn't, I didn't see anyone. Yes. So was it a physical visit or mental, spiritual? I couldn't tell you because I was, I, I think I was half awake and half asleep, sort of thing. But I was tossing and turning, so it was more like I was half awake. But was it in your mind or was it in your room? It seemed like it was in my room. Ah. So. Were your eyes open or closed? Open. I at least I think so. <laughs> so you would look at him with your eyes and yes. you would see something. Yes, but he... it was very dark. So all I could really, I could make out his face because the light in the bat, there was a light on in the bathroom. And so it would show, shine on the side of his face. So when he looked very human to me, except his eyes were very, very intense. What color was his hair? Um, I don't remember. I remember looking at his face. He had very intense eyes. Was, what was the age of his? 
Oh, he seemed like a middle-aged man. Like older than you or younger? A little younger than me looked, I think. Uh-huh. Um, what was the color of the spaceship? Oh, it was, um, it was a triangular spaceship and it had uh, white lights on it. It was a black ship with white triangular lights and in the middle the one light flickered a little bit but it didn't really blink but it flickered. I forgot to mention the AL also use uh, triangular ones. Okay well. So okay uh, and you have not know about the webinar with, with Nick? No unfortunately I don't go to human colony very often so I don't I, I see them much later. <laughs> uh -huh. And not on the phone either right? No, not on the phone. And the but uh, I do check my phone for all kinds of messages because a lot of my clients uses. So uh, in the Gmail. morning you you read my announcement about the webinar. Yes, I saw that, and I don't. I just saw it, and I clicked on it for a second, and I turned it off, and because I, I had three other uh, Gmails that I had to answer, so I had to. But it was just an announcement. It didn't tell what was in the webinar. No. Uh huh. And I also didn't sleep, but nobody came to me. I, it was uh, I didn't feel healthy. It felt like eh, eh, it was. Uh, yeah, I was very anti uh, agitated yesterday, a couple different times, agitated and frustrated because I and I give that to the fact that I asked them to put some reptilian DNA in me, so I think that that's part of it, for sure. So. Yeah, I, I didn't give him them con the consent for reptilian. So I, uh, I, uh, they, and Pleiadian. The Pleiadian part's not a problem, but the reptilian is very against my nature as a who I am. So why do you do that then? Because I wanted to, I wanted to experiment with that, and but I think that it would be good for me to experience that culture within me. So Yeah, but you can take it out. That's fine. It'll, it'll be fine. Yeah. They're, not, they're, they're not here to hurt you. So. so Jim is uh, taking it for us, right? How that's yes, how you I'm, say I'm taking it on? Yeah, I'm taking it on because I think that it's important. I really am. I really do think that it's important for me to feel more uh, close to the reptilians that are good and everything because um, I really only know them through their contact. So I am inclined, not decided, but inclined to take Liran, uh, Yael, and Pleiadian. And I, I have already, you know, we have all of that already ancient, but I have more recent Yael and Pleiadian, I'm told. Okay. But I don't have a recent Liren, so... Okay. <clears throat> Liren, I I feel like I know the how uh, Takur is. She's been through me so many times, I can sort of sense her, who she is and how yes. she feels. And exactly. So I... I and she's so wonderful. Uh, I really don't need to to put Liren in me because I already feel like I have it. So yeah, and Liren has great courage and, te and integrity and pride and uh, yes, respect. Very, and all that. very proud, but yet in a very humble way. Yeah. So it's it's. I mean, they have their self uh, love that makes them proud, but in the way that it's so calm and gentle it's it's not like i'm great better than you it's more like i'm who i should be so so i, I will ask Sakir if she can lend me her dna yeah okay. because you know liran's are different i i am i'm good with Sakir. she'll yes. be my grandmother yes <laughs> we're outside today it's nice all right um i guess we'll pause here and we'll continue there if, if something Somebody comes through Jim. You to... didn't tell me what the miracle was. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Um, so, good news. Uh, yesterday, in the very beginning of Nick's webinar, we asked nice, only nice, very positive energies to come through of fourth dimension. And uh, King of Era, uh, named King Jin. Uh, came. Kin Jin? Like the worm that came to me? Uh, it was a kin. It was a kin of error, and his name was Kin Jin. Okay. <laughs> All right. And uh, we chatted. Uh, no, not chatted. It was uh, an official thing. He gave an introduction saying that uh, you, uh, Westerners. Now, when and, was this? 
last night at around 9 p.m., 9.20 p.m. When I was in the hot tub. Yeah. Or, or at, soon afterwards, or soon so, before. So, uh, there was a few people on the webinar, and through Nick, he came, and he made an introduction official, and he's very kind of royal. He speaks about big matters in an important way, and he said that our West and our Asia have to find a common ground and become allies, otherwise the politics will go nowhere. And then we spoke about a few other things, and he didn't respond to many questions, some questions, because he couldn't, or he shouldn't, or he may not. But he also is a keen, so he, his clearance is very high, so some questions he could answer easily. And, and then obviously I said, how about, you know, we have been invited to Utopia 5 at Andromedan Galaxy, we have been invited to the applications to human colonies of Gurkfitnir, and he kind of extrapolated that. He said, no, we can't invite you to ERA. And I, don't, I, I know they cannot. I mean, there is a policy. It's like, you know, it's like America or England. You can't invite everyone. And also they, they have the civil war, which is very unfortunate. But then we discussed and he said, and finally he said, you know, how about you just stay in the solar system, but we can create human colonies in solar system. From which we conclude that they are not part of Gorfitnir. Their people are, but they are separate political entity. Era. Okay. And this will be Eren jurisdiction human colonies on orbit. And while we were talking, they kind of moved ships around. They have ships here. So they already created three colonies. I mean, check mark. I mean, the King's Order have been kind of started to manifest. Obviously, they need to formalize it, find the workers. Uh, cl uh, clarified with Gork Fitnir because they are lies. So we'll have three more colonies and applications are invited. So you go to humancolony.org, click on apply, and you write an application. There's uh, sign up to go at gmail.com is the address, or you have the field, so, the form. Okay, go ahead. And uh, I, I write it as if, if it was a, a job application or even something more extensive because. Because they pay more attention if you put more soul into that. It has to be feel well thought through and there should be integrity there and emotion as well. And you might be considered, I don't know, Gurk Fitnir is very slow accepting the applicants. Very slow. Out of hundreds, they accepted eight so far. Uh, but um, Pleiadians are different. So if you are in the waiting line earlier, then you might get a better chance. I didn't submit it yet, but I'm submitting it now. You can submit it in any way, but you know now is a good way during the webinars also. So I'm applying for the visit to human Aaron human colonies. Are you applying to? Hmm? Are you applying to? You already yes. applied. You well, already, I already applied. Yes. Yeah, Jim is already there. Uh, like, re reviewing applications at night. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm part of the council, but I feel like I review some of the applications sometimes. I mean, they've uh, asked me questions about uh, different things that people do and what it means sometimes. You seem to have Vulcan ears. Vulcan ears. Can you show sideways and other side? Yeah, I do. I have Vulcan ears. All right. Live uh, long and prosper. Yep. All right. <laughs> uh, talk to you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>